If you're a follower of this channel, while you know it's a lot about extreme collectibles, a lot of people ask, where does your success come from, Mr. X? Well, part of me thinks it comes from my Faja. You know, the Faja. And he had a little bit of badassery to him. Believe it or not, he used to hunt warthogs on Guam with a bow and arrow. That's pretty badass. Although I don't think a bow and arrow would do too well against Bebop from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But then again, the turtles use sticks against him. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Hey, thank you for tuning into the Extreme channel. My name is Mr. X, and today we're reviewing a quarter scale Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, or Turts as I call him, statue. So this is made by PCS. This is based off the 90s animated series, well, 80s, 90s. And this is Bebop, so he is a henchman of the Shredder. I recently did a review on the Shredder itself. And if you're a follower of the channel, you know this is actually the fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle statue I've gotten in over the last few months. I started going in head first. Now, because of that, I've also been re-watching all the original animated series. While clearly it's not as good as it was when I was a child, it is still pretty entertaining. So Bebop is also the partner to Rocksteady, this statue right here that I recently reviewed. And for now, I honestly think I'm done. I've got a few other ones in. You can go back and check out those videos. But unless they come out with a Baxter Stockman or a Casey Jones or something of that nature, I don't think I'd get an April O'Neil, honestly. I might get an April O'Neil from The Last Ronin. That's pretty badass. And I just saw today someone messaged me on the YouTube channel saying that they tease a Ronin statue on a motorcycle. So I haven't seen that yet as of filming this. But who knows? I could go down that turtle hole as well. See what I did there? All right, so before I jump into reviewing this guy, I first want to say thank you. These pieces have been out for a while. They're not super popular, despite the nostalgia they have with a lot of collectors. And the fact that you're still supporting the channel, I really appreciate that. Thank you. So let's talk about concept of Bebop. And there's not really a lot going on with the concept. If you've seen the other reviews, it's not going to be anything new. He has a plain street base that's cracked up, probably because the motherfucker weighs hundreds and hundreds of pounds. And they took almost an exact screenshot of what he looked like in the animated series. He's standing there in a museum pose, but it is an attack pose, so it's more of a static pose. But he is ready to fight. He has his traditional garb on and a big freaking gun. Now, I would think the Warthog wouldn't need that, but nonetheless, I think it's pretty cool they added that as well. We're going to talk about the paint and sculpt of it, and you also see a Mouser robot next to him. These were very popular in the animated series. That's because this is the exclusive version. We'll talk a little more about that later. Concept is fine. It's a little boring. Nothing incredibly creative. He does match the other characters, and because they offered a Mouser as an exclusive, I'm going to give the concept a 3 out of 5. On our channel, that means it's good, not bad. You get what you pay for. Although we'll talk a little bit more about that in value as well. Next thing we're going to talk about is design. Certain things I like about him, certain things I don't. But here is the unboxing and assembly. Here is the outside shipper. I did not take a picture of the art box, which you're just missing out. It was amazing. But you can look at the white foam and the PCS straps. It had two different layers for the statue. You can see all the different pieces right here. And here is the second layer. My biggest issue is the chain that goes around him, so this is, a pla this is a plastic chain, the links break really easy. I already broke two of them. Thankfully, you can still connect it together. So that's a negative. He's already devalued because the links are so cheap. I don't understand what he's doing with his hand up here. Take a look at that. Is he grabbing the gun? Either both hands should be on the gun or the other hand shouldn't be close to it. I think that's a little bit of a miss. I'm going to measure him here. So the widest point of... Mr. Bop, first name B, is about 15 inches. Deepest part is about 9 inches. 
And then the tallest part is just under 16 inches. So for exact dimensions, or if you're looking to pick up stuff from Sideshow, who's the official distributor of PCS, the company who made this, there's a link in the description below. You can check that out. Now, unlike Shredder, there's no other display options. What you see is what you get. I wish they would have done a different arm here. Not only different because it's kind of awkward, but maybe holding another weapon or a fist ready to punch, something of that nature. I'm gonna give the design actually a two out of five. The chain is really hard to manage and it's cheap. The arm is looking weird. There's no other display options. It would have been nice if you could take his glasses off maybe, but you can't. You can still see his eyes underneath there and you're gonna see that when we look at the close-ups for paint and sculpt. Now this is probably my least favorite with the paint and sculpt. Before we dive into the video, keep in mind they were trying to take a 2D 1980 animation and put it in real life. I think they did that well here, but they did it a lot better on the others, particularly the fur, that's kind of my issue. Check it out. Now while this doesn't have to do with the paint and sculpt, I love the character of Rocksteady and Bebop, just how they took punk rockers and then use the mutagen to make them, you know, semi-humanoid, semi-animal. Starting at the base, very cartoony, which is what it's supposed to be, so that's not horrible, but I'm not really feeling the color. I also noticed it does differ from the other bases, but pretty weak, especially like the rocks on top, because while this is based off the animation, they did try and do some realism with it, and I think that was missed completely on the base. The mouser looks fantastic, actually. The paint is a little... Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word, coated on there. But uh, otherwise, I really like the Mouser. It looks like it just came out of the uh, film or the TV show. Really well done, despite the simplicity of it. Just like the other characters, I do like the clothing. It is all fully sculpted, but they tried to you know, make it appear to be real clothing with the stitching and the folds and creases throughout. A little bit of a miss on the shoes. You know, they try to do it with the pants, but then on the shoes, they, they look very cartoony and kind of the paint is splotched over. A Little bit of a miss, nothing I can't get over. I like his jacket and all the accessories from the grenades to the uh, tooth necklace to the uh, shoulder pad with the uh, turtle shell. That all looks good. And I think the little cheap chain, it actually looks okay. You can definitely tell it's plastic, but it doesn't look too horrible. Feels very cheap though. Now with him, his fur is a huge miss. So they tried to make him furry. They tried to sculpt it, which I 100% acknowledge that's very difficult to do, but I don't like it at all. I think it's a definitely a huge miss in my opinion. And you see some of like the overspray on the white of his um, bracelet there. And then these chains right here are actually fully sculpted. You can't move them. So a little bit of a miss on that. The gun looks okay. They really added a lot of um, dingy brown color to it. You see that? I'm not liking that either. I think that that was a mistake. Gun looks okay. Very, very uh, animation style. I would have liked to see more cir circuitry and realism and dig you know uh, uh, dials or, or something. You know, if you're gonna have a laser gun, don't make it look like it was uh, 3D printed from a kit. On a, we're gonna get to the front of his portrait. I think his hair is a miss too. I think they could have individualized the strands up top here a little bit better. I mean, it just looks, it doesn't even look like hair in my opinion until you get down to the ponytail over here. That looks a little better. And his portrait is actually quite nice. I do like it despite the fur issues we talked about. You can see that right here. But the teeth look good, a little bit of enamel, different uh, off color. So they're more gray which I think is pretty accurate. His you know, trademark glasses, and then you can see his eyes underneath there. And those actually look quite well. I think they're decals. But still, it's cool to see that detail. So really, really micro examining this, you're gonna see more and more flaws. And maybe I missed them, maybe they were on the other ones as well. But I'm just not feeling this one compared to the others. Uh, doesn't mean I dislike it. I just don't like it uh, as much as the other ones. So a lot to be desired from the base, the fur, the hair. I think paint, generously, it's a three out of five as well. And the sculpt, if I hadn't seen the other ones and he'd been my first one, I, I might give it a three out of five. But I think it's a two out of five on this. 
See, bitches always be arguing with me. But it is a two out of five, in my opinion, on this for the sculpt. I think it definitely could have been better. I am not loving it, but I almost have to have it since I have Krang, Rocksteady, Bebop, Shredder. Bebop! Keep that in. A, that's what she said. Okay, let's look at the value of him. He's a really weird one. Just like all the others, they made 800. 500 are the regular, so they don't have the additional mouse or robot. Then 300 had the mouse or robot. The retail is between 650 and $675. Plus shipping and tax, of course. Now, what's really weird about him, of all those characters I recently reviewed, he's the only one that sold out. That is crazy. I was able to nab him from a wait list. So unfortunately, he's the only one I paid full price for. If you got some of those other videos, you know I got all the others at a discount. But that doesn't make sense to me because clearly he would not be a quintessential character. He's the same edition size as the rest of them. So I don't understand why he was sold out. But I have to take that into consideration when I'm scoring him based on value. Now, almost $700 for some mediocre stuff, I'm not a fan of. So if he wasn't already sold out, I would give him a two out of five, but because he is, it's a three out of five on the value. I think it could probably get my money back. Well, and that's if I didn't break the chain, of course. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really impressed with the value. So ultimately, is this a five out of five statue? Does he have the X factor? Of course he doesn't. Um, you know, I think he's a very weak three out of five. i uh, not a fan of him, but I would never get rock steady without Bebop. So I almost got him out of out of completion necessity. That's even a term. It is now. Trademark. Stream channel. 2023. But I can't wait to see what he looks like. If you want to see what he looks like, check out the Extreme Channel social media. Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and whatever the other one is. The link for those is in the description below. I'm going to throw them over there after this and then throw up some pictures. But let me know. Am I seeing this wrong? Where does he rank in, in regards to the other three villains? I think he's clearly the weakest, in my opinion, as far as the statue goes. Maybe I'm seeing something that's not really there. Maybe I'm just jealous of his dead sexy looks. We will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones, at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Hey guys, thank you so much. Thank you for tuning in. I said guys, but I mean that no matter what gender you think you are. I, um, uh, gonna go now. But please drop me a like. Thanks for sticking it in. That's what she said. Take care.